So let me see if I can communicate. Provincial IRA and continuity IRA. Um, just to give you a glimpse of something here. Um, on uh, the BBC's programs about this stuff, they have top people talking from all sides, from the Protestant death squads to IRA to um, uh, British intelligence to, you know, people in government, in English government. And they say, the IRA says, uh, well, we can get back, you know, three, two, three hundred people, which is about the most we had at the, at the height of, uh, of, you know, revolutionary actions or, you know, freedom fighting. And BBC seems to confirm this, and uh, the Protestant death squads, just one of them, had 40,000 members. So two or three hundred guys versus 40,000, and it's not just 40,000, it's 40,000 plus an army. One of the best armies in the world. Uh, best is very subjective, but... Uh, <clears throat> in in the manner of its its execution and, and slaughtering people, um, most uh, a, a deadly force, you know, SAS these type of people, with various Protestant death squads, and then you have these other factions, police, and all this other stuff that's that's in with the horror show that's there. So, I mean, it's it's a David versus Goliath story. One side is all seems to be all good; the other seems to be all bad. I and mean, even in portraying them, they 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 attempt to take the moral high ground. And they said um, in uh, 1972, the IRA had uh, overplayed their hand and made demands. And they said, "Oh, we can't take these people seriously." Overplayed their hand. There is only one requ There is only one demand. One thing: leave Ireland. There's no overplaying a hand. These people thought they were going to play political ball with these, you know, with the IRA. It's no, it's not. It's not some, you know. I guess this is the Anglo-Saxon. This is in them that you know, like when you go up in front of a judge, the lawyer and the prosecutor. The prosecutor just wants to get his. He doesn't care about the innocence of the person on trial. He just wants to, you know, show off, and it's just this, you know, sparring match for him. It has no impact on his life. He has, he checked his morals at the door. The Anglo prosecutor has the same sense as the Anglo in dealing with the Irish people, is that it's, uh, it's a sport to slaughter and kill the Irish in any way they can. And, uh, I mean, <clears throat> no, I, I don't think any, any occupier that there's no uh, that it's there's no innocent occupier but it's led me to think is there innocent uh, English citizens even not in the British Isles or Anglo-Saxon descendants now I've not come to a conclusion on this I don't want to damn a whole people or to say that they should be executed but if we didn't have these people, let's just say, I don't even want to say in the past, but let's say tomorrow we wake up and these people don't exist anymore. Would there be more war or less? Again, I've had, well, I don't know if I've had any friends that are Anglo-Saxons. Um, I know the Anglo-Saxons are always arrogant. And, uh, well, maybe there's Catholic Anglo-Saxons that are fine. Um, Coughlin seems to be from a Catholic background. So maybe the English Catholics, but they would have to support their brothers their, in faith. In Ireland, I'd, have to, I'd see that as a prereq, just like you can't say, <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm pro-Jewish and then before the Nazis, it's, or I'm Jewish and then be a Nazi. It, it doesn't make sense. Or be complicit with the Nazis. It would seem like no. Now you're, you're. It's almost like an excommunication of a, of even genetics, in a sort, or of just a people, or religiously, socially. But there is no debate 
I mean, uh, this is just appalling to me for anybody to speak of at least provincial IRA as anything less than merciful freedom fighters is like claiming that Martin Luther King spread hate spe speech and was behind genocide and behind multiple, multiple, multiple hate crimes. It's something so disgusting that only the worst liar would say. But, again, the Irish people know the Protestant Anglo-Saxons or the Scotch prods as, um, as, uh, how have they known them through history? Just look at history. I mean, Irish need not apply being second-class citizens even in the United States. It's sad, and I wish it wasn't. Um, I want to make this clear. I'm against the war and killing, but the war only ends at the end of occupation. And it's nobody's, <clears throat> nobody's right to say that, uh, oh, well, we're going to stop and be peaceful. There's no right. That's that's not or that's not that's not an option. That's not. I, I, it's just uh, I, I don't. Well, I guess these will probably be the last of the videos about the IRA because uh, who from the the other side is something that is so dark and evil and cold blooded. That I I can't uh, I it's something that's beyond my understanding. It's 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 quite shocking how evil England. Well, all right, take it easy, peace to you, may God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland.